गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर ह्यूमिडिटी वॉट इज ह्यूमिडिटी ह्यूमिडिटी इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर वेपर इन द एयर और यू कैन से मॉइस्चर इन द एयर इफ देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर वेपर इन द एयर और मॉइस्चर इन द एयर द ह्यूमिडिटी विल बी हाई द हाई द ह्यूमिडिटी द वेटर इट फील्स आउटसाइड मीन्स देर आर चांसेस ऑफ रेन on the weather report humidity is usually explained as relative humidity relative humidity when it reaches to 100% there are chances of rainfall means it's going to rain for it is a saturated air which is filled with water vapor when the weather is warm and humidity is high the body finds it difficult to keep cool especially during the rain, uh, rainy season when there is no rainfall and the temperature is high we have a sweating but this sweating not evaporates so because of that we feel sticky and we feel uncomfortable so that is the condition so because it's hard to remove heat while evaporation of sweat into the air because the air is already having moisture and so it's not able to grasp more moisture so we feel sticky in our body we feel uncomfortable and so this is called the humid condition or humid weather so the definition of the humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air at a particular time and place what is the importance of humidity humidity has important influence on our atmosphere for affecting water vapor and rainfall water vapor is one of the key of the greenhouse gases there is more water vapor than any other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere without water vapor uh, we would be ab not able to live on the earth as the greenhouse gas water vapor lets energy from sun passes through and warm the earth the earth then radiates heat away but some of this energy is trapped on the way by the greenhouse gases adding extra warmth the average temperature of the earth at the surface is 14.5 degree celsius that is on the earth we have this much of temperature but without any greenhouse gas it would be around minus 18 degree celsius because the temperature is trapped in between the earth and these greenhouse gases to maintain the earth's temperature water vapor is important for moving energy around the earth energy from the sun evaporates water into water vapor which can easily be moved around the atmosphere with the help of the wind the water vapor eventually condenses back into water releasing energy as heat this heat is a key component in the formation of different type of storms or to result into rainfall so this is the importance of humidity sources of humidity the most important source of humidity or we can say moisture or water vapor in the atmosphere is water vapor and in its important varies greatly from time to time and place to place time to time means uh, from morning evening night place to place if i say the simply uh, heat zones like torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone so all these places have a different amount of humidity because this place receive different amount of heat and they have a different areas of a water small water body or a big water body humidity is measured in percentage its percentage varies from zero in cold dry air because cold dry air is not able to get the moisture because in that condition there will be no evaporation to as much as 5 per, uh, percentage in the hot equatorial region because here the air is little bit warm and able to capture more moisture so temperature of the atmosphere is most important factor as warmer the air is warmer there means if the air is warm and 
uh, dry it able to get the more moisture it able to hold more moisture until it reaches to the saturated point saturated point means the time which is not a uh, time where it is not able to grasp more moisture from the uh, or water vapor in itself and it also result after that it results into the condensation and then there is a rainfall also. But with the height the air is rarefied, rarefied means it becomes less and cannot hold more moisture hence the humidity decreases with the height means near the surface the height will uh, near the surface the amount of moisture or humidity in the air will be more but as we go higher and higher the amount of this humidity decreases. So what is the meaning of humidity? It refers to the amount of water vapor present in the air at a particular time and place. Evaporation. Evaporation is the liquid state of water changes into water vapor. Means whatever the water vapor we have on the surface of the earth or uh, uh, trees which are present on the surface of the earth because of the temperature or the because of the heat of the earth water evaporates and changes into vapor or a gaseous state in our atmosphere. Importance of evaporation. Evaporation is vapor form or gaseous form of water in the atmosphere. It helps in water cycle. Water cycle is evaporation, condensation and precipitation. It makes the weather of a place means maybe the humidity is higher or low or mild. So because of that the people living in that area feel comfortable or uncomfortable. So it makes the weather of a place. And because of evaporation only clouds are formed. Why? Because of the evaporation water changes into a vapor form and these vapor stick to dust particles which are present in the atmosphere and give formation to clouds. Clouds. Clouds are visible accumulation of tiny water droplets or ice crystals in the earth's atmosphere. Just now I told you that when the evaporation take place water changes into a gaseous form this gaseous form or the vapor gets stick to a dust particle which are present in the atmosphere and when this uh, gets saturated then we are able to see clouds and these clouds are of different shape and size so clouds greatly uh, have a different size shape and color maybe you have seen that small or light color white color you have seen maybe you have seen the brownish color and gray color or blackish color clouds so they can appear thin thin means a very uh, sheet a light sheet of white color along with the blue color sky wispy bulky or lumpy these are the different shapes of the clouds Clouds form when air becomes saturated. Air becomes saturated means when it is not able to grasp more moisture, then it becomes saturated and result into formation of a cloud. Means it is filled with a water vapor. Now there are different types of clouds. Clouds classified on the basis of height and shape. This classification has been given by Luke Howard. He was an English biologist who wrote uh, this in his book in 1803, Classification and Identification of Clouds. He tried to identify the clouds on the basis of height, shape, color. All this he has taken in the consideration and then he gave the classification. So classification is low clouds from the surface up to 2000 meters, it is stratoclumbus, nimbostratus, clumbus, clumbonimbus, stratus and nimbus. Nimbus is a rain bearing wind which result into rainfall which is near to the surface of the earth. 
medium cloud from 2000 meters to 6000 meters it is autocumbus and autostratus third one is high clouds above 6000 meters it is cirrus and cirrostratus cirrocumbus so these are the classification and total classification comes up to 10 there are 10 classification or 10 types of clouds which has been identified by luke howard you can see this in the picture and this is the height that is from uh, lowest area to the highest area and most of the clouds are found in the troposphere so these clouds classification has done in the troposphere as we know that the convection currents are limited to the troposphere so this part of the atmosphere contains all clouds and crossing the tropopause coming in the stratosphere then the clouds are very less so all these clouds from the low clouds to high level cloud classifications found in the troposphere importance of clouds clouds are important for occurrence of precipitation precipitation is all precipitation that is rainfall occurs from clouds uh, we do not get rainfall or precipitation from all the clouds but there are uh, certain uh, clouds which give helps in the precipitation just now i told you nimbus nimbus is a rain bearing clouds second is to know about the meteorological process meteorological dep uh, department takes the help of a cloud to give the weather forecast of that particular place third helps in maintaining heat on the earth clouds play an important role in the heat budget heat budget means the amount of heat received by the earth and the radiation which is sent back by the earth so this is because clouds absorb a part of incoming solar radiation and then they reflect back this incoming solar radiation on the way to the space and also diffuse some of it diffuse means scattered here and there clouds also absorb a part of terrestrial radiation terrestrial radiation means the heat which is radiated by the earth and then radiated it back to the surface clouds radiate heat continuously in proportion to their temperature clouds also forms the this uh, shade and because of the clouds sometimes the temperature of the earth is down that is less and if it is a clear sky and there is no cloud then the uh, on the earth the temperature will be higher so in the absence of these clouds days would be much warmer and nights much be more cooler means whatever the temperature we have during the day time or during the night time it will totally change if there is a absence of cloud because cloud forms a layer which stops the terrestrial radiation to escape in the space and maintains the temperature of the earth i think this much topic is clear to you thank you